My bathhouse is powered by this uh, 100 watt Renogy, Renogy, I don't know how you pronounce it, R-E-N-O-G-Y, solar panel. Does a great job. It keeps my two 12 amp hour batteries fully charged. Never have hurt for power in my bathhouse for the lighting or the pump. I also have a 100 watt Renogy panel on top of my cabin. It's a little shady right now, but usually have great afternoon sun. My cabin is work in progress. I have a Yeti 400 and I have two Duracell batteries on either side that are 35 amp hour batteries for a total of about 2000 watts, 175 amp hours. I've got my inverter going right now. I have my ARB cooler cooking. It's on. You can see I have a two gold zero lanterns, my speakers, wireless speakers. Got a series of uh, Olight flashlights. Great flashlights, recharged all the time when I get here. Great lights. My lacrosse technology weather station. You can see where I've got three inches of rain so far this year since I've installed this contraption. A little warm today, but nice. cooler ARB so far it's done a great job man no complaints at all I've got the um, got the cooler insulator on it I put a basic outdoor plug with USB ran that from my cabin you can see the um, Coiled conduit, it runs in and plugs into my Yeti 400 in the cabin. You saw that plugged in the inverter. Works great. I can run my TV, my satellite dish, watch football, races, foot, baseball, plug uh, two USB ports into that outlet, charge phones. It's in a great setup. No ice, not have to worry about ice, at least for the food. For the cervezas, yeah, we got an issue there. We have to Yetis, Cabela coolers, Grizzly coolers. Speaking of beer, 